All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. I know some of you've been wondering whatever happened with that 99 or 95 Johnson motor that I did all that work on. So since I last got done with that, I had to put a head gasket or not a head gasket, but intake gasket on there because it was leaking fuel after I did the coils. So we're finally out here on the water with it. We're gonna fire it up, test this thing out. See if we can get this little 12 foot, 12 foot John boat planed out. I apologize it's taken so long. It's rained almost every day for 45 days straight. When we did have good weather, I was out on my other, my newer boat, nicer boat, trying to get that thing broken in and tested. Uh, so, with further ado, let's let her rip. All right, so the boat starts pretty good. Uh, we're gonna fire it up, and we're gonna try and plane this thing out, see what happens, wish me luck. I'm trying to get two different camera angles. I'm gonna get a rear and a front here. So, I got my fingers crossed. The idle is set a little high on it. I don't have a screwdriver to turn it down, but it should be good. All right. Alright, so that was pretty sweet. We got her planed out. I like it. You're not going to break any speed records with this thing, but first time that I actually got this boat planed out, I had a motor just like this that I borrowed from a friend last year. Couldn't plane this boat out to save my life. I did tune that one. have not had it back on this boat since. Bought this one, tuned it, repaired it came out once in a rainstorm to try and do what I'm doing here today but was unable to because it's our lightning so finally got back out here got it planned out all the hard work paid off and that was the whole goal of buying this motor and fixing it so now I think we're gonna try and catch some fish all right, so this is what I love about this lake. There's all kinds of little bluegills out there. I've caught one bass already. But just like that, you can catch fish. It's good for kids, but nobody wants to catch a million of them. So I'm trying to get it a little deeper, get away from these little guys. 
but absolutely stoked. Boat runs, the stop switch I fixed works. There's fish out here. Got another one. The slip bobber's not working the best. For whatever reason, must have a little burr. It's not letting the lure drop. All right, so I've been catching some bluegill. Not on film. So, let's put the old boat to the test. Prove we're catching fish the old-fashioned way. On a poor man's boat. I'm just drifting. See, it can be done. You don't need fancy stuff to catch fish. So aggressive. Can't even get the lure past them, that's the problem. Nothing big though. I'm trying to get deeper to get bigger ones, but it's just too many needs. lake is so clear you can see 15 20 feet down oh didn't even get it through i got him they come racing out of nowhere at 100 miles an hour and snatch it tried some plastics before they just bite them nibble on them a little bit and spit it out Almost need like a hair jig or something. Let's go again. This might be the smallest one of the day right there. Just a little. Hmm. Felt nicer than what he actually is. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of the Johnson 9.5. So, all in all, good day. Got it planed out. Pretty sweet. So, now I'm either going to put it for sale or keep it and maybe take it up north somewhere. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.